chiropractors online crack the necks of infants, yank around the spines and joints of dogs, and twist the limbs of cats in the name of treating these hapless creatures' ailments. Are these practices safe and effective, or have these chiropractors lost their minds? I'm Robert Tolley, and today I'm talking about chiropractic influencers who will stop at nothing to get clicks and views on their shocking videos. Even in its most mundane form, chiropractic as a discipline is somewhat controversial among medical doctors, as it started out as alternative medicine and was originally based in pseudoscience. Today, however, it is generally regarded as an effective way to treat lower back pain. This is according to a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. There is a time and a place for chiropractic treatment of certain conditions, especially lower back pain, and some research indicates that it may help neck pain and migraines as well. Many chiropractors are well-informed professionals who stick to what they're good at and what the science says. Before I continue, I'd like to remind everyone that I do have a Patreon starting at $1 a month, and if you enjoy my content and wish to support me, consider signing up using my link below. I also have a $5 category for anyone who wants to join my private Discord. That's all. Anyways. Other chiropractors are quite loosey-goosey with the science. They claim they can treat conditions well outside of the domain of what chiropractic has been demonstrated to mitigate. These are the kinds of chiropractors that tend to be the most popular on social media. The most notable of these chiropractors is Dr. Ian, who has gone wildly viral for performing chiropractic adjustments on infants. He has a cult following who will defend his every action no matter how irresponsible, and this comment section could get ugly the second I speak ill of him, but I'm not going to hold back. While I'm sure that Dr. Ian has legitimately helped people with conditions that chiropractic is well established to be able to treat, him adjusting an infant's neck is irresponsible beyond words. While some chiropractors claim that making adjustments on children is not dangerous, kids have suffered brain hemorrhages and neck fractures due to these purportedly harmless and gentle adjustments. While I would assume such complications are rare, children are exposed to these risks while undergoing treatments that are not effective. A 2001 study revealed that chiropractic treatment for infant colic only results in improvement as reported by parents 60% of the time, the same amount of improvement when the children were instead treated with a placebo. Colic is what Dr. Ian is often treating in his infant patients. Essentially, Dr. Ian is twisting and cracking four-day-old premature babies' spines to accomplish nothing except putting their life in jeopardy. He was banned for a while in 2016 from treating children pending an investigation by the Chiropractic Board of Australia, and I hope that ban stuck. Although, it hasn't been reported on recently, so I'm unsure whether he still performs such procedures. Considering that Dr. Ian was very active on YouTube, I wonder if he sought out younger and younger patients for his videos because he knew they would go viral, and not necessarily because he thought he could help these infants. I'm very wary of practitioners of any discipline who claim to help people with medical conditions who turn the treatment of their patients into a spectacle for the internet. Some patients that these chiropractors treat aren't even human. There are programs at certain schools of chiropractic that you can enroll in to learn how to treat predominantly dogs, horses, and cats if you have specialized training and certifications to treat animals and work closely with veterinarians, I'm not going to be mad at you for sharing your profession online. If you don't list any credentials whatsoever besides a WhatsApp number and that you're an osteopath on your page and start cracking dogs necks, I'm going to raise an eyebrow. In the U.S., at least, to be considered a bona fide animal chiropractor, you have to hold a doctorate of chiropractic with an American Veterinary Chiropractic Association certification. This German TikTok influencer, who seems like some kind of jack-of-all-trades, claims to treat animals, people, athletes, basically anything with a pulse, and lists no educational background or certifications anywhere on his social media. I even reached out to double-check if he had any and received no response. 
No surprise there. There are many chiropractors who care little about having certifications or credentials and will happily perform all sorts of procedures that they have no business doing. They target people who seek alternative treatments for all sorts of conditions, advertising through testimonials on Facebook groups for people with chronic illnesses. One of these individuals is Dr. Nick Leroy, a convicted felon, party to armed robbery, and chiropractor who lost his license in 2016. Despite losing his license, he continued to practice for years and to my knowledge is still in business. How he is allowed to do so, who knows? Perhaps he got his license back. But considering what he's done and continues to do, he should never see a single patient ever again. His specialty is not treating back and neck pain by adjusting people's spines, you know, what a chiropractor should be doing as a chiropractor, but treating HPV, the most common STI which has many effective treatments when administered by medical professionals. Dr. Leroy has an alternative treatment though, called escarotic treatment, where a caustic substance is applied to the cervix to kill precancerous cells. If that sounds like a crazy treatment that no one, let alone someone who's not a medical doctor should be doing, that's because it is. There have been horror stories from patients of Leroy, including one where a woman had 20 ineffective treatments with him and developed cancer because she delayed getting actual medical care. Her condition worsened to the point of needing a hysterectomy. It's just a terrible story, but you wouldn't think that something like that would happen considering the glowing testimonials praising Leroy in Facebook groups for women with HPV. These treatments popularized by Leroy are very popular in these groups, where people sometimes take a crack at escharotic therapy themselves. I saw one woman having their husband perform the procedure from the comfort of their own home. Leroy was, at one point, very active on YouTube, using the title of doctor to sound like an authoritative source on a condition he has no business educating people about. What I don't understand is how and why YouTube and Facebook allow medical information to spread so widely on their platform. Leroy is absolutely unhinged and should not be allowed to spew nonsense anywhere. Whatever service is hosting his website should pull the plug on that as well, as it's filled with junk, including content that sows seeds of doubt in the minds of people considering vaccinating themselves against HPV and seeking professional medical intervention for their condition. Both are widely recommended by actual doctors. If you think about it, there's a perverse incentive for Leroy to proliferate such misinformation, because if more people don't get vaccinated, contract HPV, and don't properly treat it, he'll get more customers, won't he? I believe in order to put the title of doctor in your social media handle, you should be required to submit paperwork attesting to your title and what kind of doctor you actually are. Without a system like that, any unscrupulous person with a PhD in English literature or literally no graduate degree whatsoever can masquerade as a medical professional with little to no safeguards in place protecting those seeking treatments for themselves, their pets, or their children. Individuals are left to do their own research, and with few comprehensive and reliable resources available to cut through the BS, it's all too easy to put yourself or those you care about in harm's way. The advent of the internet has not helped at all, as now anyone can post whatever garbage they want to mislead people for their own benefit. Social media platforms have a responsibility to ensure their users are safe, and moderation efforts need to improve tremendously to combat the flood of videos that could put people in danger. Anyways, I'm Robert Tolpe, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye!